Professor Krauss, Derek Lambert, Myth Vision Podcast. I'm the host. I have a question for you. Many people talk about the design of the universe. They look at this universe and they see mathematics, they see structure, and they use that as an argument for a mind or a god or a creator looking at the universe itself. As someone who's a theoretical physicist, in what way does your work potentially help answer this question of, was this really all chance? When it comes to design and fine tuning, in what way does your work actually come in and kind of debunk the notion that a perfect, all powerful designer created the world, the universe, everything that we see? Is there a way to answer that question? Well, it's a that's a good question. I've, I, in fact, recently I wrote for Inference Magazine a a long article, along with one for the Globe and Mail in Canada, on how poorly designed the universe is. Um, and uh, you know, the uni- people look around and they say, "Wow, the universe! If it had different properties, we wouldn't be around." The same is true for the Earth, and that used to uh, make people think that 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 you know the that the earth was designed for life. But in fact, what we understand after, after Darwin is that life evolved to, to fit the circumstances, the environment in which it, it could evolve in. And so it's not too surprising that life forms on earth fit perfectly well on the earth. It's not too surprising that life on earth um, is, it, it fits, if you wish, with the universe, which if it were any different, life on earth might not be a, a possible to, to have arisen. But it doesn't. It doesn't imply design any more than than the the fitness of life on Earth implies design of life. Natural selection works very well, um, and it's. It, I, I often say it's like it's like remarking on the amazing fact that my feet are exactly long enough to touch the floor. <laughs> if they were a little shorter, I wouldn't be touching the floor. If they were a little longer, I'd be under the floor. But more than that, if you look at the universe, most of the universe is not well designed for us. It's most of it's uninhabitable for for beings like us or life forms like uh, like those on Earth, and in many ways the universe is constantly trying to kill us. We're we're lucky we've survived this long as a species, but but even the fundamental parameters that look like they're fine tuned, and the most famous one, which I discussed about as early as anyone, was um, is the energy of empty space, which seems to be have a very peculiar value that we can't understand. And it was pointed out by the late physicist Steven Weinberg that if it were much larger, that value, then galaxies wouldn't have formed and life wouldn't have formed. And some people say, wow, that's that's evidence that the universe was designed. But on the other hand, it turns out if that weird quantity was zero, which is the value we always thought it would have, which seems natural, more natural in many ways, the universe would actually be more conducive to life. So uh, I guess I like to think of the... Um, of the argument from uh, that that Carl Sagan used, it said, "If you know, if it, it's if if the universe is designed for life, it's an awful waste of space. <laughs> it's a big universe, so you could just have this Earth." And and the other aspect is, if the universe were different and had different properties, sure, we wouldn't be around. But we can't say that there's no life that'd be around. And there could be life of a very different form, and that life could speculate and wonder why that universe was so well designed for it. As I often say, it's like an intelligent fish, you know, wondering why the universe is made of water. And the answer is, well, if it wasn't, the fish wouldn't be around. And and so, so it, all that we, even here on Earth, we've discovered what are called extremophiles, life forms that exist in, in situations we never thought it would be possible for life to exist in, boiling hot water, acidic environments. And so if, if that's any guide, it suggests that life in many ways can can evolve uh, in 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 many different environments, and if things were very different, then we might find that that we wouldn't be here, but maybe we'd be some other sort of intelligent being with very different properties. Um, clearly, people have it backwards, the same way people before Darwin used to have it for for living systems on Earth. The universe wasn't designed for life. Life evolved. Our life, the life we measure here on Earth, evolved because in be in a form that's consistent with the physical properties of the universe in which it evolved. That's not so surprising. There's no evidence, as far as evidence of purpose or design, as I say, there's nothing that suggests uh, that there's any any specific design in our location. It certainly seems to be rather random and most other locations in the universe, as I say, are not so fortunate. Uh, You would have thought 
that a being that designed a universe for life would make make the whole universe hospitable for life in one way or another. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed that show. I have hundreds of other ones on the Patreon, letting you guys know you can help us continue doing what we're doing at Myth Vision Podcast. Also, you can have questions asked to the academics that I research with and I interview. Your question can be asked in a 1080p high quality video that might end up on YouTube. Like I said, ladies and gentlemen, I wanna expose the cults, show these superstitions for what they are, and the errors within these texts and all of these religions to help people realize they're all man-made and that we have what it takes. All we need to do is pull together. Let me tell you something. The religious world has the financial backing that those skeptics such as myself don't have. So if you want to help and be a participant, you can for a little, little bit a month. It's not much. If you want to go more, you can. But like I said, this is how I can keep the lights on for Myth Vision. 